Hi, so thanks for joining this presentation on Flutter applications on AGL with the Web Application Manager. Hope everybody is safe. Uh, unfortunately, we are still not able to meet in person, but hopefully we will be able to do it soon. And yeah, especially thanks to everyone working on the organization of events under this uh, complicated uh, scenario worldwide. So let me uh, introduce what are we going to talk about in this in this presentation. So basically, uh, the goal is to describe uh, how using Chromium and the Web Application Manager, we are going to be able to run applications on, on this demo platform, specifically building Flutter applications to run on top of, of one. So I, I will be describing how this process is done and a bit about some uh, cases of, of uh, bundles from Flutter apps that are run into the platform uh, using one. And yeah, we will comment then on the ongoing ongoing work. Uh, so first, a few things about us. Well, I am Lorenzo Tilbe and I work at Igalia. Uh, we are an open source consultancy, uh, mostly specialized in browsers and web engines. Our main areas of expertise are Chromium, WebKit, and WP and Firefox mainly. But yeah, we have areas of work around uh, compilers, JavaScript, graphics, multimedia, and accessibility. And uh, we have been involved with AGL for a long time, uh, specifically focused on providing web runtime support in, into the platform. And I will be explaining a bit how, how that is done. So, uh, the idea is to ship, uh, we have been working on, on adding a, a web runtime into AGL, uh, which high level uh, it's based on, on Chromium and the Web Application Manager. Uh, this this was coming from a WebOS uh, OC platform and open source by LG. Uh, it's, it's using Chromium. Uh, which has been verified on multiple embedded devices and architectures, uh, which also provides uh, uh, natural support for different technologies that are used in vehicles as cloud to native, but of course any other capability that a web runtime can, a, a Chromium based web engine can provide, which is uh, everything related to uh, yeah, implementation of uh, media connectivity, rendering, the graphics display, etc. Uh, that we are getting by using a Chromium, a Chromium engine. Uh, this is also integrating the work uh, using also some Wayland upstream implementation that it, Igalia has been working on to optimize uh, the usage of GPU capabilities on the different hardware devices. So uh, I'm not going to a lot into detail on the internals of uh, the web application manager this time. I will mention later on about some links to resources where that information can be accessed. But basically, uh, the idea is that the Web Application Manager is a layer that allows uh, connecting and running web applications, allows its isolation, life cycle management, and different levels of permissions. Uh, the idea of this AGL Web Runtime is to be able to target a large com a community of companies and application developers. This means that by having the capacity to run uh, web technologies into AGL, Without a uh, dependency from any specific uh, UI front end or framework, it's possible to test demo and uh, check integration for different stakeholders uh, willing to run AGL. Uh, and, and we will be describing specifically how ongoing work on Flutter integration is happening and how already uh, Flutter apps can be tested in the HTML image. This is also based on uh, open standards uh, defined by the W3C. Uh, uh, yeah, we are being capable of running all web capacities due to that. Um, so, yeah, as, as I was explaining, uh, in order to understand the internals about Chromium and WAM architecture a bit better, uh, you can check uh, a presentation uh, on the past uh, Virtual Automotive Ray Linux. Uh, that uh, my colleague Antia and me delivered or specifically on, on HTML5 and uh, AGL demo platform with Chromium and WAM uh, where you can get more instructions if you are interested in learning how to create images, how to start using web apps and how to 
uh, build and run them into the platform. So for this session today, we are talking about Flutter integration. So just very briefly, uh, what is Flutter? Basically, Flutter is uh, an open source uh, framework that was done by Google to build uh, native multi-platform applications. Uh, so main goal specifically is the capacity that the same code runs on different devices or, or hardware platforms. Uh, which is also something that AGL does. Uh, so in the, this case, the, it could be possible to create applications in, in desktop and run them into, into AGL, either natively or bundled, as we're going to describe. Uh, it's based on Dart uh, language. So the idea of Dart is being UI-oriented and can be compiled into native code or a JavaScript for the web. Uh, so this allows to generate web bundles and they can be run out of the box nowadays into, into a stable HTML5 image from AGL. So I'm not going to explain in detail how to write Flutter applications, uh, but just a, just a brief uh, ideas and resources how to uh, to use some of the existing demo code or how, how that can be already for, for developed Flutter applications, how to already run them into AGL. So there are many uh, resources available online to, to start coding uh, Flutter apps. There are some uh, references and some gallery uh, placeholder applications that ship uh, uh, different widgets that are being used and, and, and examples of uh, navigation flow, etc. So we can be also using some of these examples to to showcase how they run into AGL in this, in this presentation. And there are other specific resources for learning Dart and Dart.dev. Uh, so there's hot reloading that can be tested there and yeah, uh, to learn more about the language. So uh, what's about uh, running Flutter applications? Well, uh, there are, you can run them using the command line SDK, or you can use some uh, editor, as in this case, Virtual Studio Code, to run them on the desktop. So you either get some existing code, or you start coding your own applications there, and you can run them on desktops. And then we are going to mention how to run them on on a YL uh, using one. So as I was mentioning, Flutter has the capacity to, uh, from the same code uh, for an application, to specify the target for which it can be built. Uh, and one example of them is compiling them as a web application. So you can run the same code you run for desktop uh, natively uh, into a browser, which allows them to be run wrapped uh, using the, the, the structure of applications in AGL and run them into the into the image of, of uh, on some of the supported platforms, either QEMU for a quick uh, development and test locally, or any of the supported hardware platforms, as Renesas, or any of the community ones, or Raspberry Pi. Uh, so there are some documentation links I was sharing there about how this uh, ongoing work is happening. So there's a Confluence page on which uh, resources that I'm using in this presentation are linked. And also there's an issue on AGL Jira about the ongoing work of porting some demo web apps to Flutter. That is a spec for uh, 040 that anyone can follow up as, as development is open. And we are also talking about the, them in the uh, weekly developer call. So yeah, just feel free to, to participate and ask if you have any, any question. Uh, besides uh, what we are dis describing in this presentation on running a Flutter as a JavaScript applications as JavaScript as web bundles in, into AGL, there's ongoing work happening to uh, native support on AGL. Uh, so Toyota was contributing a native Flutter embedder that is already been integrated into Master, which uh, allows to run directly. Uh, binary uh, Flutter applications, and yeah, it's also possible to run 
uh, to do native debugging. Uh, there's there's some additional <laughs> resources uh, and demos that will be presented during this ALS uh, on that regard. Uh, but yeah, for for the scope we have here one of the ideas about these uh, flexibilities that uh, any vanilla HTML applications or created with any UI frontend can live and be run in the same image uh, as a Flutter bundle. So we are going to explain how, how to do that. Uh, so in order to build a, f a Flutter web bundle, uh, there's the possibility to directly use the SDK uh, and specify the target there uh, of, of which element is going to be to be built. So the, the way to do that is using, well, uh, Flutter build web. Uh, when uh, install the previous uh, Flutter <laughs> SDK uh, requirements, so you can select web as one of the targets to create the, the the distributed code of the of the application uh, either of the example of or 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 the the gallery i mean or or the your own uh, <laughs> application and then you can uh, directly zip the content of the build web directory into a wgt file uh, which is the format that was used in the application framework uh, to be able to to pack and install applications into AGL. Some th something important uh, is that this uh, the, the scope of this presentation is uh, is uh, meant to be for a Lucky Lamprey version. Uh, as there are some ongoing uh, relevant changes happening in, in master, like the new version that is going to be called uh, Marlin, uh, which which introduce changes on the application uh, framework, which is being reworked to a new approach targeted to security and LTS maintainability. So yeah, there are a lot of ongoing changes. So the instructions I am sharing here to bundle web apps and to run them with HTML applications are to be run on, on the Lamprey version. Uh, so uh, uh, so once I was meaning uh, the, the widget is created, if you have your own uh, QE image for instance, that bundle can be directly copied into the, into the QE image and install with AFM util install in the same way you would be doing for any other web app uh, or, or, or native application. Uh, and that would be basically it. In order to uh, have the information uh, describing the structure of the, of the bundle, it's necessary to include a config.xml file. I will be showing some examples later. But basically it defines the name of the application, <laughs> the permissions that is going to be used. That there there were some additional information about that in the in the talk I was mentioning before about web apps that you can check too. Uh, something also important is that besides running a, a UI uh, functionalities or use cases, uh, it's going to be needed to have platform integration to talk with the lo le with uh, layers of uh, AGL or APIs that are providing access to certain functionalities. Uh, the way to do that in web applications uh, in the HTML5 uh, image in AGL is using the application framework APIs, which we, which we have been wrapping with a JavaScript library binder. Uh, so all the calls from the web applications to the different services were wrapped through the AGL GS API uh, uh, library that we were sharing there. So basically all the applications do their, uh, their logic on website, but in order to get information from uh, controls or internal components that uh, live in the AGL demo platform are, are done through this library. So what we were doing in order to do the same for a Flutter application was creating an AGL JS Dart wrapper 
that I am sharing there. We will be also sharing some additional details about how it works. But basically, the, your custom uh, your custom Flutter application should be just importing AGELJS dependency in the pubspec YAML file from the Flutter application. So it could be possible to then use methods that interact with AGL. Which kind of methods methods I'm referring to? Well, uh, those that talk to API call, API calls that were provided application framework. As mentioned, the, this is going to be rework after Lamprey, uh, but this can be used on on the on the current version. Uh, so, for instance, to create a Flutter application that uh, has access to volume and wants to attach listeners to volume chains. In the first place, it has to uh, get the permissions defined in the config XML file uh, to be able to access those APIs. Otherwise, the application would never have access to talk to these services. And then with uh, JavaScript in the library, you get exposed methods that would uh, bring the list of co available controls or uh, to, to set uh, specific volumes for one of the specific uh, controls that were listed or to attach to events that you would notify when the volume was changing. Uh, so this was done on the JavaScript side. So in this case, for creating Flutter applications that did the same, but uh, on Flutter, we were creating this wrapper that was basically defining a uh, the way that uh, the same API calls to the AJLJS were going to happen, but re written on Dart side. So yeah, the, uh, from that moment on, the Dart application would be able to do the same thing, that is retrieve controls, change volume, or at all attach callbacks uh, to get notified when the uh, audio mixer was changing. Uh, so let, let's show how this would be working inside of the existing web home screen structure. So this is the anatomy of the layout of uh, the HTML image in AGL demo platform. So basically there are uh, different web applications running at the same time. So one is the one in the orange border that is the home screen area so that's a web app that is running all the time which has some widgets some example widgets you can see there so this showing the time is showing a connection to services that provide weather information uh, and some shortcuts that are actually able to bring up other applications that are going to be shown in the applications area which is showing multiple web applications uh, flipping up and, and down. So uh, as, as I was mentioning, so you have that view visible all the time. And you, what you are seeing in this example is one specific case of web application that is called uh, the launcher, which lists the installed applications and, and allows to run one of them and use that area uh, that is in the blue box. So how that would work for the case of the Flutter applications that we built? So basically, uh, that would allow to uh, embed uh, as one uh, example of gallery app in this case, uh, running at the same time as the web versions of the HVAC or Mixer or dashboard applications that we were running. So what, what you are seeing in this example is AGL HTML platform running the Flutter gallery as a web app integrated into the system. So you can browse, you can use all the functionality from that application embedded into a AGL. Uh, so these are another couple of examples. So in this case, uh, we are showing an initial prototype of the launcher web app, uh, sorry, of the launcher Flutter application. Uh, the, all these examples are also shared in the Confluence page that I was sharing. So this application, what does is list the install applications and is able to run them using the uh, calls in the AGL.js wrapper written in Dart that I was mentioning. 
Another example is uh, an HVAC version, uh, an HVAC Flutter version of the equivalent web app. So yeah, they both provide the same functionality, uh, but uh, in that case they were runnable and testable on desktop, but the connections are can be done directly into AGL platform when exported as web bundles. I will be also sharing some other example. There is uh, one version we were working that is a flatter version of the entire home screen. Uh, this would allow on the native flatter uh, image to show the entire uh, surface available on the screen uh, with, with a uh, with a entire single uh, flutter application uh, this provides an integrated view so yeah there's a still ongoing work in order to be able to uh, integrate with uh, the the ongoing work to replace the application framework and also to be able to show multiple flutter apps so they can be handled independently uh, but yeah, i can briefly show uh, how this example of AGL uh, Flutter home screen written in Flutter is. So yeah, it's, it, it replicates the uh, aspect of the HTML version. Uh, it, it uses some different widgets, but the idea is that yeah, in this case, uh, this is a pure Flutter application that can be run both on desktop or in the uh, native uh, Flutter version using the home screen IDI and again it could be also exported as a web application and run directly into one with other web applications so as you can see it it also integrates some of the available widgets in written in Flutter uh, and yep yeah, it, it, it ships a mock-up implementation of the alternative launcher and, and so on So, what is next? Well, there are a lot of uh, things ongoing. So, on one side, uh, WAM uh, and Chromium are being uh, adapted in master branch after this removal of the application framework happening after Lamprey. Uh, so, there are, there's quite some work that needs to be done uh, to adapt the functionality uh, after these changes. Also, we are working in bringing up uh, the cuteless version of WebOS uh, of WAM that was released recently. So that could make quite easier to get uh, updates of that version. And also we are bumping the Chromium version uh, from 84 to 87 and the incoming 9X uh, that is going to be available soon. So yeah, we will be getting into uh, fresher versions of the code base uh, in, in WAM and Chromium. We are also working in the integration, uh, we are iterating the platform uh, for Flutter, running Flutter bundles in, in Marlin. So yeah, we will need to still rework uh, some of the functionality of the AGL JS API to be working with the AGL JS Dart wrapper. Uh, and yeah, there, there were some uh, additional work ongoing for the migration of, of demo apps as the, a version of the Flutter Launcher, Flutter HVAC or the Mixer. So there are, besides running uh, Flutter apps in HTML, it's also possible to run uh, HTML applications in Flutter with a web view. So yeah, this this might be something that can be explored uh, in order to yeah to provide more flexibility. So uh, AGL platform can run any of the available either Flutter or web technologies using both their flavors uh, in 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 the future. And yes, also uh, there's additional work in the integration with the native AP AVA home screen as allowing surfaces uh, running Flutter apps for home screen and launcher separately. And yet, yeah, uh, ongoing work on handling of application lifecycle and, and packaging system with the changes that are uh, happening. So that was basically it. Thanks a lot. 
and yep yeah, I'm happy to get any question or comment and yep yeah, again really wishing to see you back soon thank you